Uh, continued speaking about the, the international reaction and help uh, here for Turkey. And Azerbaijan was one of the first countries to send international aid to Turkey and has deployed nearly 400 people to help search and rescue efforts. For more on this, we're now joined by Tural Ganjali in Baku. He's a member of parliament in Azerbaijan. Welcome to TRT World. Um, talk to us uh, about uh, how Azerbaijan is helping uh, Turkey today. Uh, well, uh, first of all, I would like to extend my heartfelt condolences to Turkey, to its people, to Turkey nation, uh, for the devastating earthquake that hit uh, the southern part of Turkey. Turkey, of course, we are one nation. We we have always been together in difficult times, and these difficult times, Azerbaijani people, we are standing together. Uh, since the first hours of the uh, devastating earthquake. Uh, the leadership of Azerbaijan, government of Azerbaijan uh, have been mobilized and uh, government of Azerbaijan has already sent uh, their uh, rescue workers teams to Turkey to help people. And the Minister of Emergency Situations uh, are already mm -hmm. in Turkey and their workers are continuing their search and rescue op operations. And of course, uh, as brotherly nations, uh, nation of Azerbaijan from the first uh, hours of this tragedy uh, is trying to do its best, helping uh, people. And like myself, I represent the city of Khankandi, the Karabakh region of Azerbaijan. My mm -hmm. constituency members are calling myself, my office. Uh, people are asking uh, in what way they can help mm -hmm. Turkey. Uh, the people uh, with this uh, earthquake. And of course, we as a nation, we Azerbaijanis, we have been mobilized to do our best. And uh, we are uh, we are following very closely the situation and we are standing again together to help in whatever matter, whatever way that we can do. And Tural, of course, the, the area affected by the two earthquakes, it, the sheer scale and, and magnitude is huge and we're just looking right now at uh, images of Gaziantep, just one of the areas uh, hit by those earthquakes and uh, uh, we see there the search and rescue operation continuing. How will um, the, uh, the efforts, the help from Azerbaijan be prioritised? How will the uh, resources be prioritised that uh, Azerbaijan is, is giving, given the fact that the area affected is so huge? Yes, absolutely. The, because of the area is affected is very huge, and that's why uh, the most professional teams in our emergen uh, emergency situation workers have been dispatched to to the places in Turkey uh, in order to help. Uh, because we know that this is uh, very difficult. Uh, there are people, hundreds, maybe thousands of people, lying on the debris, uh, on the rubble of these uh, destroyed buildings. And that's why it's very a matter of time. That's why our professionals are trying to do their best. And the government of Azerbaijan is uh, prioritizing uh, the best teams, the professionals. They are sent to those regions that are mostly affected from this earthquake. By the way, I, I, I would like here to say that in Azerbaijan, all entertainment activities and events have mm -hmm. been canceled. Uh, we are mourning with, together with Turkey, uh, Turkey with, the, with the nation. And of course, uh, this is the most uh, difficult time, but I uh, do hope that as we are standing together, we will be able to tackle this uh, problem if we mobilize all our resources, all, all our uh, energy. Of course, we, we, will, we will try to, to do our best in order to help. Indeed. And of course, um, just on that point of mourning, uh, the uh, Turkish uh, government, the president has has uh, declared seven days of uh, national mourning uh, here in Turkey. And of course, as you say, uh, Azerbaijan, uh, a friendly, a brotherly country. And it's very touching to hear about the reaction there um, in Azerbaijan. And just if, if you can, um, if you have any more details about what exactly will be sent by Azerbaijan, what type of equipment is going to help, uh, particularly when we look at these kind of images there, you know, homes uh, completely pancakes raised to the ground, people who are outside right now. Uh, we have uh, a storm, we have, uh, we have temperatures uh, at around zero degrees in, in Turkey. Um, what's being sent exactly to help right now, given these weather conditions and this uh, terrible humanitarian disaster? 
Uh, yes, I think that uh, together with the rescue teams, professionals, Azerbaijani government also dispatched uh, the humanitarian assistance, uh, the goods and products and the equipment that are most needed in these difficult times because of the temperature, because of the, uh, you know, this unforeseen uh, cold uh, winter in, in that part of the region in mm -hmm. Turkey. And uh, of course, we have uh, we have uh, uh, professionals. We have specialized kind of people who are uh, who know how to deal with this situation. Uh, of course, uh, again, we, we have to uh, we follow very closely the uh, Minister of Emergency situations in Azerbaijan. Um, uh, we are, we have experience because we have suffered from tragedy from difficulties for most of our independence, from mm -hmm. occupation, from devastation of our big cities. That's why we, the emergence, not only the Minister of Emergency situation, but uh, also government of Azerbaijan, its different departments have been mobilized to help with their equipment, with their experience, you know, with the people on the ground. Uh, and, and of course, all this uh, help is already there and it continues to pour in mm -hmm. into this region of Tur Turkey. It, you say the help is already there and it continues to pour in. Um, how is it being sent? Is it by air, by, by land? Tell us a bit more about how that help is getting from Azerbaijan to Turkey. Yes, already uh, the government of Azerbaijan dispatched planes mm -hmm. by air. And also, of course, uh, by land, uh, we have uh, cargo and uh, vehicles are arriving, are arriving in Turkey. But... Uh, uh, the most uh, immediate help is already on the ground, and the uh, Azerbaijani government dispatched this uh, by air, by plane, uh, because, again, time is here is very important. We know there are people who uh, need uh, this. Uh, the people have to be uh, pulled, uh, retreated from the, under the debris from, uh, because uh, the time is working against uh, in the situation, we have to be very, uh, we have to hurry our efforts. And of course, again, the planes are coming, also uh, land, uh, uh, land arriving, land cargoes are, are, are arriving because we have uh, already uh, people are working on this direction. Absolutely. As you say, it really is a, a race uh, against the clock. And I'll be speaking to a seismologist uh, straight after you, um, uh, Tural, just to, to, to really find out those technical uh, uh, points uh, regarding the search and rescue operation and those people who are still trapped under that rubble that we're looking at now. This is just one example we're looking at, uh, Gaziantep, one of uh, the many uh, cities and towns hit uh, affected by uh, the two earthquakes in Turkey and also, of course, the, the many aftershocks. And just on that very point about the reaction, uh, the solidarity by the people of, of Azerbaijan, it's uh, beautifully said that uh, Turkey and Azerbaijan are, are one people, brotherly nations. Uh, uh, you mentioned, um, Tural, that uh, many events have been cancelled, but just talk to us a bit more about that uh, human uh, reaction and personal reaction to this tragedy in Turkey? Yes, a human reaction. Uh, we can see this in every uh, parts of our streets. If you just uh, go out from your home, you see people are very uh, disturbed. They are talking everywhere. We are talking about this earthquake. People are even like, uh, not only my constituency, uh, any of my colleagues, you know, friends, relatives, we are all uh, speaking, talking, discussing how we can help uh, our brotherly nation, Turkey, in these uh, conditions because uh, people really uh, are helping. Everybody is mobilized. Uh, that's why, but again, government of Azerbaijan is coordinating this uh, mm -hmm. help, assisting, humanitarian assistance. But if needed, believe me, 10 million Azerbaijani people, everyone is ready to come to uh, rescue operations to participate uh, in a way that everybody can. Uh, that's why it's here the uh, most important demonstration of our brotherly relations. Uh, we are one nation. Uh, Turkey's difficult times is our difficult times. So that's why we are watching uh, very closely. Heartbreaking images are coming from different parts of the uh, part the regions that were hit uh, very sadly by this earthquake. And uh, we pray and we do hope that all this, uh, the consequences of these earthquakes will be removed and 
Uh, also, we wish a speedy recovery for all of people who have suffered from this uh, the disaster. Tural, thank you so much for your your words and uh, your reaction uh, today. Um, Tural Ganjali is a is a member of parliament in Azerbaijan, and Azerbaijan is one of the first countries to send international aid to Turkey. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us on TRT World today.